So thank you very much. My name is Robert Hölner. I'm from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Thuwal in Saudi Arabia. And I really thought a bit about what to talk about. It will be a very, very quick talk and what to do here. And um, we have just had the first talk, or one of them, not the first, but at least the second. Maybe there were more talks about using machine learning on linked data and ontologies. And what I would like to think about in this hackathon is how our infrastructure has to adapt or should adapt or could adapt when we have machine learning available in addition to our standard tools like linked data, uh, Sparkle for querying ontologies with OWL and automated reasoners. And there are a couple of things which are missing and I started a bit uh, so this is some old slide here. So we had this, this and some of you will know this, it's this ontology-based data access paradigm and kind of came by distinguishing some layers. So we have a conceptual layer, this is mainly our ontologies or our, some conceptual model. We have the data layer, which is mainly what we will have in some structured databases now in RDF. And then we have a mapping between both. This is kind of easy uh, that we have. And there was, and there still is some kind of a gap here because, uh, of course, the ontology is formulated in OWL. We would uh, use a reasoner to process or query them. Uh, our data, we, we use Sparkle to query. There's not really a good interface. So we had, originally, we had a long time ago, uh, 2014, I think, implemented in Upper OWL where we had some Sparkle query rewriting so that we could use OWL queries as part of Sparkle. And so this is old. Other, other people have done this as well, using uh, similar or different methods uh, to, use, to use this. And now we have machine learning. And so we have heard a few of them. There are uh, different approaches for embeddings, knowledge graph embeddings. There are some ontology embeddings. We can some embed logic programs. So there are a number of different machine learning methods which use semantics and the data that we deal with. We can use them for many different things. The question is, how can we incorporate them in the infrastructure that we have built now? So, one thing that comes to mind, and I think this uh, was presented last year at the hackathon, is back to Sparkle, where we can use some kind of basic machine learning as part of Sparkle queries uh, directly. So, this is something for which we have built a prototype. But when we extend this here uh, by an additional layer, so we have our ontologies, which we would process through all. There are a number of different ways in which we can do this. We have our data layer, which we query through Sparkle. And then we have something new, which is some kind of a predictive or analytic layer. There we can do some kind of similarity-based queries. We can do some predictions. And we started working on a repository, which we call the back repository, coming from a project with uh, Maastricht and Bonn. Um, named by Tobek, but uh, where we try to make some basic machine learning and processing and storing of embeddings together with metadata available as a service. Um, so this might be some part of infrastructure that we can do. So you can, and some people have last year already uploaded some uh, some embeddings uh, from ontologies and for for for, for knowledge graphs to, to this repository, which worked quite well. But we have now this new layer. And we still need the mappings between these three layers now, if we have this. Uh, we have new operations in this third layer here, which are not actually available in our conceptual or data layer, but we have something new. Uh, so we still have the mappings there the same. If we have text embeddings, we might do some named entity um, recognition and normalization. Um, but then what I would like to think about for this hackathon is how the interfaces between these three layers should work and what is missing and how best to design them. So we have made an attempt for Sparkle and ontologies with Abraal by this query rewriting approach so that we can do some form of reasoning as part of Sparkle queries directly. And this is OWL or full OWL reasoning or all the other reasoning. Uh, for Sparkle and machine learning, we have uh, prototype which is back to Sparkle, which, uh, which uh, Maxat from my group at KAUST has implemented, also with a number of other collaborators. But for ontologies and machine learning, so some kind of similarity with queries there, I have no idea, and it's something that if you are interested in discussing this, this hackathon, then you're very welcome. Thank you.